Hello, it's 6.04 a.m. 11.15.2012. This is an iridology chart taken back in 1981, developed by Dr. Bernard Jensen. This is the right eye. And this is the left eye. Now I learned about iridology back in the 80s, early 80s, right when this book was brand new, 1981. A friend of mine came over to my house and says, hey, do you want my mom to read your eyes? I said, sure. I'll have her read my eyes. And I went over to her house and she read my eyes and from then on I was hooked on the health industry. She told me I hadn't been eating my vegetables because I was deficient in B vitamins. I had nerve rings in my eyes. And so I read first off Bernard Jensen's book Iridology and Back to Eden by Jethro Kloss. This is a good foundation to learn about your health. To learn about enemas, detoxifying your body rapidly in a crisis. Enemas can be your best defense or offense because there's four elimination channels in your body. Your skin, your kidneys, your bowels, and your lungs. Well, the bowels are the first ones to go because of our processed foods today are so deficient in fiber that uh, up to 15 pounds is the average in a person's bowels of toxins. Uh, some people have been reported to die with up to 45 pounds of toxins in their bowels. And so, um, in a crisis, you can always take an enema to help release your body of the toxins. And it can help your body detoxify real fast so that the um, body can clean out the, uh, the germs and the waste in the, in, the, in the cells and in the blood because the blood is the life of your body. And any doctor can tell you that the blood carries the toxins and that's where the germs are. And if you clean out the toxins, then the germs can't live in your body because a clean sink can't grow any germs. A clean sink. So, a clean blood you can get by detoxifying your bowels with enemas. Coffee enemas are excellent to start because they stimulate the liver to, to dump the toxins. Not drinking the coffee, but taking it in an enema. And um, I know of two people, three people that I've helped with enemas in a crisis. One person, he called me up and he says, Fred, I just got out of the hospital. Can you come over and help me out? I go, what's wrong? He, he goes, I was in the hospital for some breathing problems. So I said, well, you need to take an enema. And um, I brought over some lung herbs to his house. 
and he made some tea out of the long herbs and took some t long herbs you know he swallowed some and I had him put the herb tea the long herb tea in the enema and uh, he came out of the bathroom all s glowing he was so glowing and he says wow man that really helped he came back later and told me that he was in the hospital and they were going to operate on him he says no let me just go home and that's when he called me So, um, I learned about enemas at a young age, and I became a vegetarian at a young age. Because I, I learned that Jesus Christ was a vegetarian. It was in the Dead Sea Scrolls. And so I became a vegetarian. So I've been a vegetarian over um, 35 years now. And even my mom used to say that when I was a kid, I didn't like to eat meat. And I told them it hurt my teeth, so they took me to the dentist. They said, there's nothing wrong with his teeth. So when my, whenever my family was eating steak, I was eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So I learned on, from early on that herbs and vitamins were the way to go for God's health and God's herbs and family. I read Jethro Kloss, Back to Eden, and Bernard Jensen's book, you know, iridology. So you guys can learn all about your health and iridology and be, become healthy again and you won't have to go to doctors anymore. And you can learn about juicing. When I was in Eugene, Oregon, I had a store that it was called the Blue Lagoon. And I had a sign up in the window that says, if you're not born with it, it's curable. Well, one day the juice man came into my store and says, can you read my eyes? And I said, sure. And they were so blue and clear and no dark spots at all in his eyes and I later read this story that he was sick from a young age and he started juicing and he goes you know what my girlfriend here I told her to juice two cloves of garlic well she juiced two bulbs of garlic and she started hallucinating that she detoxified so much. And that's because garlic is in the Bible. It says, To, un to all those who endure to the end, I shall give them a manna from God, and it shall be like a white stone. And that's garlic. It has Gerritz ray radiation in it. It has the power to regenerate every cell in your body. And so, people who eat garlic, it's from God. You're eating garlic and you should be eating it raw because life comes from life. Your body, your, your food has four bodies the physical the astral the causal and the super causal same as your body 
And so, when you eat raw foods, you get all four bodies from the raw foods. Once you cook it, you destroy it. You destroy the life, you destroy the enzymes. Most people are deficient in enzymes. Everybody's deficient in enzymes. 31% enzyme deficiency by the age of 21. Nowadays, when I read people's eyes, I see stomach problems. That means your body has lost so much um, enzymes from the GMO foods. It upsets your stomach and you can't absorb your food if you can't digest your food. So you end up, you're caught in an endless cycle of digestion problems and absorption problems because you can't absorb and digest your food. You have to get off the meat and the GMO, the corn and the soy. So, quick recap. Organic raw foods are the way to go. Detoxify your body so that you can uh, absorb your food better. Detoxifying through enemas and through uh, juicing. You can absorb your food through juicing. So, I think that's enough for today. God bless you all. And good morning.